Hello, 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 and welcome back to Motor Home Chit Chat. I hope you are all safe and well in this lockdown and this virus, um, and hope you've all been sticking to the rules. Um, obviously, we can't go anywhere, same as everyone. All our plans have been uh, shelved. Um, so, yeah, the motorhome sits on the driveway. Can't use it. It's Easter Monday. We are bored to tears. So I'm gonna wash the motorhome. I don't really know what the point of washing the motorhome is because it's just gonna sit there for another month or however long this is gonna go on for and just need washing again. But you know me, I like to have a nice clean uh, caravan or motorhome. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna give it a quick wash. This time I'm not gonna use Phoenix, the same as I did in the caravan cleaning video. Um, I'm gonna try Auto Gleam. So, let me uh, show you what I do and hopefully we'll have a half decent result. This is obviously a really boring video for a really boring time so if it's not something you're really interested in then um, hope to see you on our next one when hopefully we might be out and about somewhere but if not stay tuned and see how we get on. Excuse the wind noise now we are incredibly tight for space on our driveway it fits on but it is a tight squeeze same as the caravan was so um yeah i don't know how good the filming will be but let's see how we get on so as you can see i think i've only washed this once since we've had it um it doesn't look too bad it's still quite a nice shine on it but it is definitely rather streaky rather dirty some of the seals are looking rather grubby. So I've got some silky I'm gonna use on that. Yeah, it's just looking a little bit grubby for my liking. Some nice black streaks going up there. I'd like to try and put a bit of um, polish on it as well. See down there seals are looking a bit grubby so let's see what I'm using for this so normally as you know I'm a massive fan of this stuff but I thought today I've had this in my stock for quite a while now and I've um, I've not really used it so I thought I'd give this a try today and see how I get on with this and if I've got time and the weather etc I might do a little bit of polishing as well so let's see how we get on so got my bucket and only two capfuls of the um, cleaning solution is required for 10 litres of water which is pretty cool so it lasts a very long time so that's uh, in there, the mitt is in there. All I'm gonna do now is get my hose out, ha ha ha, and um, spray the motorhome down to get rid of all the uh, dirt and loose bits and pieces. Time to watch a fat man at work. try and clean our seal seals a little bit because um, they are a little bit grubby I've not had much success with this before um, but I'm gonna try I bought this um, you will see in one of my previous vlogs when we had a caravan that I didn't particularly have much success with this stuff me personally um, found it quite hard to use but apparently it is good for the um, 
like the seals and stuff so even if I just clean them a little bit more than what they are I'll be happy with that so I'm gonna give that a try with a paintbrush um, yeah so let's see how we get on A bit brighter, actually, I must say. Go I am going to rinse this again. As I say, it's not been not been clean for some time, so there is a lot of grit on there. But I just wanted to try this silky off first before I start putting the uh, the other cleaner on it. So. These are really gone a horrible colour. So let's see how we get on with these. Wow, I can see the difference already. That's pretty decent to be fair. Okay. Oh, there's Vicky. She's sorry. Midway through filming, Vicky's going to get some essentials only. Say hi to our audience. I'm doing the world's most boring vlog about how to wash a motorhome. Sure people find it interesting. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Anyway, back to where we were. Um, yeah, so just this is actually coming up brilliantly. I can't believe it. Right, anyway, I'm going to get to work. Yeah, it's making a very good job of this, to be honest. I must admit, this was very green before. I've been around the seal, the sealant around the wheel arch. And it's bringing it up really nice. Maybe I haven't given Silky the credit it's due. So, the result is better much better. Could still do with a little bit more work around some of these uh, seals. If you guys know of any method you use which brings them up nice and clean, drop a comment below. I'll be happy to hear. All right, time to get brushing. to do the dreaded windows now I've always done mine the same way even on the caravan I make sure I give it a good old soak to get all the loose grit off and then what I do with my microfiber mitt is make sure it's very wet and I just lightly very lightly go over the window barely even touching it and then what that does is loosens off any dirt and then once I've done that I give the mitt a rinse and then I go over it properly so rinsed off now drying down with a microfiber cloth and what do I think of auto gleam um, I think I still prefer um, Phoenix purely because this stuff with Phoenix with the Bobby Dazzler rinse it makes rinsing off a whole lot easier whereas this stuff sort of the dirt especially on a day like today with a sort of breezy 
the dirt sort of dries on before you've had a chance to rinse it off and then it's pretty tricky to get off you have to then wet it and get again and also it's not as good on the um, black streaks so for me it's uh, again it's a win for Fenix I am gonna tr uh, try to um, get the old super resin polish on it though which I do recommend so let's see the result after that so we're all dried off not a bad not a bad shine still the uh, seals are not entirely clean or as clean as I want them but not a bad shine however I am gonna give my uh, super resin polish a, a go you can see on the on the paintwork and actually you can pick that up there there's like a mark there it's a couple of marks here and there um, a couple of little specks still on the uh, paintwork that the cleaner hasn't got off so it's a little bit streaky there actually so let's see what this does see if it brings it up at all so a little bit on at a time and circular motions until you buff to a haze and then leave it to uh, sort of cure I guess for a little while let's see what happens here we go, time to look at the finished product. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. I do use super resin polish on the windows as well, as it is really good at getting the windows nice and clean and it does take out any really fine scratches not too bad what do you reckon One thing I will say is, cleaning this is an absolute nightmare. The caravan was a damn sight easier to clean than this. And I am absolutely knackered. I don't even know how long I've been on it. I must have been on it for about two, three hours. And uh, yeah, it's um, come up pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Nice uh, shine on the side there. Almost as good as the shine on my head. So um, anyway, hope this has been some help to someone or anyone who's looking to clean their caravan or motorhome. Um, for me, I do prefer Fenwick, so I just find that it is easier to use. Again, this is the um, my third in the cleaning series. Um, yeah, and for me, I do prefer Fenwick. Um, but I'm pretty happy. I, I wanted to get some um, super resin polish on this and i'm pretty happy with how that's turned out so like i say if uh, this has been any use to you at all then um good and uh, any comments please leave below and don't forget to hit um subscribe if you haven't done already uh, hit like if you like what you see and i'll see you on the next one bye bye <laughs>